morning. My name is Dr. Prince Lehari, working as a student professor in the Department of AML Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. Today, I want to have some brief talk on equivalence of DFA and NFA from the topic from the course named Automata and Compiler Design. Okay, we well, are going to the we well, are going to the topic. Uh, Given a given an NFA, how we can convert it into the DFA? That means they 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 will give an NFA. How we can convert it into the DFA? NFAs are usually easier to drive you if you think about the sub, uh, substring construction, substring construction problem, which is uh, which is uh, given as a best example for the NFA. We can construct DFA to the substring as well as construct NFA to the substring. But when you compare this uh, construction of uh, DFA and NFA, we, bit, we feel a bit complicated in constructing a DFA, but we feel easier to, to construct a NFA rather than DFA. So NFAs is user, usually easier to compute. That means, why? That means, is there any methodology, is there any methodology to convert the given NFA to the DFA? such that they accept the same language. That means whatever the language that is accepted by the NFA should also be accepted by the DFA. Okay, should also be accepted by the DFA. And, and is there any such existing method, procedure to convert such procedure or algorithm to convert such NFA to DFA as there is a procedure. And we state it as the equivalence between NFA and DFA. That means we are giving a NFA, we have to convert it into the DFA. Suppose given an NFA with uh, QN, QN indicates the number of states in the QN, Q suffix N indicates the number of, Q suffix N indicates the number of states in NFA. That means non deterministic finite automata. And sigma is the input alphabet. And delta n is the transition function for the NFA, which maps from q plus sigma to 2 to the power of q. And q naught is the initial state. Q0 is the initial state in the NFA and Fn. Fn is always a subset of Qn. Okay. That means a NFA can have more than one final states. Fn indicates the final final states. Final states of NFA. Okay. Fn indicates the final states of NFA. First, first such NFA we have to construct a DFA. DFA is also fightable as you remember. QD, Sigma, Delta D is the transition functions for the DFA and Q0 is the initial state for the DFA and FD are the final states for the given DFA. And how we can find this QD, Sigma, Delta D Q0 and Ft. Let us see. Okay. Let us see. You can see here QD, QD, which is a subset of QN. That means we, we do not consider all the states of the NFA, but not consider here the all, all, all the states of the NFA. What are the state, states that are adding to the transition table? The, those states only we consider. Okay. And FD. How do you how do you identify FD? FD you can see here as per the definition FD is S which is subset of QN such that S intersection FN is not equal to pi. That means any let us say that Q is a state Q is a state which belongs to the final state in the NFA. Final state in the NFA Q is a, Q is a state or you can simply say not Q. Oh. 
you can say QNAT is a state which is a which belongs to the one of the final states in the NFA. What is the meaning of the statement is whatever the states that are subset of this Q0. That means suppose if you take the state Q0 Q1. In the state we are having Q0 as a subset. It will also consider as the final state. Final state for the FA. That means what are the states that are having subset of the final states that are in NFA those can be treated as the final states in the DFA and one more important point the initial state of the NFA is same as the initial state of the DFA and let us let us uh, have this problem how do you construct DFA equivalent to this NFA given given a machine M Q0 Q1 this is the set of states these are the set of states and this is the input alphabet sigma and this is the transition function and the transition functions are defined here below. The transition functions are defined here below and Q0 is the initial state and Q1 is the final state. Q0 is the initial state. And if you draw the NFA diagram, how it is to click? Q0. Since Q0 is the initial state, and Q1 is the final states. Delta of Q0 on 0, what it is leading? It is leading to Q0 as well as Q1. Delta of Q, Q0 on 1, it is leading to Q1. Q0 on 1, it is leading to Q1. Next, delta of Q0 on 1, it is leading to Q1. Delta of Q1 on 0, Q1 on 0 is pi. Delta of Q1 on 1 is, it is leading to Q1 as well as, as well as Q0. And this is the, and this is the NFA for this, for these transitions. This is the NFA. Now we have to take, now we have to uh, construct a equivalent DFA for this NFA. And the starting, here the first step is the initial state of the uh, NFA is same as the initial state of the DFA. What is the initial state of the NFA? It is here, it is Q0. So here also it is Q0. Okay. Now we have to fill this transition. Okay. Now we have to first take the starting state of the NFA as the starting state of the DFA. Next we have to apply the transition diagram. How we can fill this? There is a function delta D of Q on A can be written as union of union of delta N of delta N of Q on A or Q not Q not not it is some Q prime. Okay. How you can interpret this function? You, you see in this example like delta D of Q naught on 0. Q naught on 0. This can be interpreted as union of delta N of what is the state in initial state here q0 on 0 what is here q0 on 0 that is delta n of that is delta n of Or we can write this delta of Q0 and 0, it can be written as delta N of what is the value of Q0 and 0? It is nothing but Q0, Q1 or 0. How we can write this? It is nothing but delta of delta of 
Q not on zero union delta of Q one on zero. What is the value of this function? Delta of Q not on zero. Q not on zero is in the state. Q not Q one union Q one on zero. Q one on zero. It is Q not. It is nothing but Q not Q one union Q not. It is Q not Q one. Here it is Q not Q one. Similarly, you can test it for delta of Q not on one. Delta d of Q not on one. This can be written as delta n of Q not on one. What is the value of Q not on one? It is Q not. That is delta n of Q not on one. It is Q not. Sorry, I am saying Q not on one. No, Q not on one. It is Q one. So here we get Q one. And here we 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 have got the new states. Here we have got the new states. One is the Q not Q one. One is the Q not Q one. Other is the Q one. So we we should add these. states to the given transition diagram okay and we should add the states to the given transition diagram again we compute the function delta of q not q1 on 0 for the dfa we are calculating the q not q1 on 0 this can be written as delta n of Delta n of q not on zero union delta n of q one on zero. What is the value of q not on zero in the previous slide? What is the value of q not on zero? Q not on zero. It is in the state q not as well as q one. Union. What is the value of delta Q one on zero? Q one on zero. It is five. That means, sorry, for Q one on zero, it is not. We are not having any transition. Means the diagram look like this. For Q one on zero, it is five. Means there is no transition. Okay, this is the. Diagram for these transitions. I have been mistaken. It is pi. And what is the value? Q not. Q one. We get the value. Q not. Q one. Similarly, we go on. We go on calculating the same for the delta d of Q not Q one on one. This can be written as. Delta n of Q not on one union delta n of Q one on one. What is the value of Q not on one? You can see here. What is the value of Q not on one? Q not on one. It is Q one. Here you can see here. Q not on one. It is Q one. Q1 union, Q1 on one, Q1 on one, it is sorry, Q1 on one, it is again Q1. Here it is Q1. Here you can see the Q1 on one, it is Q not and Q1. It is Q not and Q one. It is Q not Q one. However, we should add these states such that no new new state should be generated. 
if there is no generation of the new state then we can stop this procedure and now we have to finally mark the final states what are the states that are con consisting of the subset of the final states in the diagram here q1 is the here q1 is the final state here q1 is the final state what are the states that are subset of the final states those can be termed as the final states in the new dfa and this these two states are now termed as the final states of the new dfa and we can finally draw the transition diagram once again i am repeating why we are going for the equivalence of nfa and dfa that means we are giving a longer than for the longer than it is easy to construct a nfa rather than dfa for such purpose we can easily construct a nfa and lateral we can we can convert it into the dfa and equivalence of nfa dfa means that there is explains about the procedure how we can convert such nfa to a dfa and let us say so think about these two notations let that we are given with a nfa n such that qn indicates the number of states in the nfa and sigma indicates the input alphabet and delta n are the transition functions defined on the nfa q0 is the initial state fn is the final state for such nfa we have to construct the dfa with qd qd indicates the number of states in the given dfa and sigma is the input alphabet which is same as the input alphabet of the nfa delta d is the transition function for the given dfa q0 q0 is the initial state what are the initial state we have for the nfa it remains same for the that means initial state of the dfa is same as the initial state of the nfa and fd is the set of final states okay l of d equal to l of n indicating thus two accepts the same language for that first we have to define what is the initial state what are the final states and how the transitions should be okay and how the transitions should be and we are given the transition function for the delta d of s comma a where a a belongs to sigma that means a is a symbol from the alphabet here we can write it as it is a union of delta n of s comma a delta n of s comma a okay and this is the transition function we mostly use in conversion and the initial state remains as this and the final states what are the what are the states we obtain which are the subset of the final state in the nfa those can be termed as the final states in the given dfa now let us look at the procedure suppose if you had a question like this we have to convert it into the nfa first you can draw the state diagram and the transition diagram it is easy to construct from the transition diagram q0 q1 q0 and 0 it is going to the state q0 q1 q0 and 1 it is in the state q1 q1 and 0 it is pi q1 and 1 it is q0 q1 okay q0 q1 for this we have to we have to take the what are the this is the initial state and this is the final state for the dfa because here we have mentioned this is the q and this is the sigma and the transition function this is the initial state and this is the final state okay and these are the transition functions if you draw the diagram we can we get like this q0 q1 final state is indicated by double circle okay q0 and 0 it is going to g in state q0 and it is also in the state q1 similarly q0 and 
q0 on 1 it is going to state q1 q1 on 0 it is pi q1 on 1 it is in the state q1 as well as it, in, it is in the state q1 on 1 q0 for the input form now we can take the transition function q0 and compute the q0 we can write like this delta d of q0 here we have two different functions sigma sorry two different alphabet sigma that means we have to compute for 0 as well as 1 qd of 0 and 1 can be termed as the union of qn of q0 and 1 what is the value of q0 and 1 what is the value of q sorry q0 and 0 what is the value of q0 and 0 it is nothing but q0 q1 that means it is nothing but delta n of q0 on 0 union delta n of q1 on 0. What is the value of q0 on 0? It is q0 q1 union. What is the value of q1 on 0? It is pi. So we get q0 q1 here it is so we get q0 q1 that means we are defining the transition function that means we are constructing the transition table for the given nfa how we are constructing suppose if you take if based on the formula delta d of q0 on 0 it is nothing but the union of delta union of delta n of q0 on 0 what is the value of q0 on 0 q0 q1 it can be written as delta n of q0 on 0 delta n of it is it can be written as delta n of q0 on 0 as well as delta n of q1 on 0 what is the value of q0 on 0 it is q0 q1 here we have right union what is the value of q1 on 0 what is the value of q1 on 0 it is pi q0 q1 union pi what is the value q0 q1 similarly we can write it for other input alphabet what is the value of q0 on 1 here we can write delta of q0 on 1 it can be written as union of delta n of q0 on 1 what is the value of q0 on 1 it is q1 what is the value of q1 on 1 in the nfa it is q0 sorry delta l of q, q it can be written as union of q0 on 1 what is the value of q0 on 1 it is q1 here we have the q1 like this initially the we have only initial state initial state in the transition table now two new states are added those are q0 and q1 we have to compute the transition from transitions for q0 q0 q1 and q1 on the sigma 0 and 1 like this we add add this to the transition table like this we add to the transition table like delta of q0 q1 on 0 this can be written as union of delta n of this can be written as delta n of q0 on 0 union delta n of q1 on 0 what is the value of q0 on 0 if you see the transition table q0 on 0 it is q0 q1 union what is the value of q1 on 0 it is pi what is the value q0 q1 this is the how we can obtain similarly we test for the other alphabets also like this we compute the all the transition functions 
when we stop this algorithm that means if there are no new states generated for these two you can see the states generated are q0 q1 and pi that is there is no new state generated generated here so we can stop this algorithm here and now we have to identify the initial states what are the initial state is is there in the nfa it will become the same as the initial state in the dfa now we have to identify the final states here in the nfa NFA Q1 is the final state. Okay, in the NFA Q1 is the final state. What are the states that are subset of Q1? Here are the states Q0 Q1 is a subset of Q1 and Q1 is also every every set every set is subset of itself. So Q1 is also a subset of it, Q1. So these two can be termed as the final states. Based on that. Now we have constructed the transition table. Now we have to draw it. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.